Hello, my name is Trevor Owsley, teaching beings the way through the dark night of the soul. I want to put some questions to people in the dark night of the soul. Do you have visions? What were the visions about? Did you sense a lot of fear? And did you feel something had stepped into your body and was using your mind? Let's start with the question one, the visions. I will explain mine. It would be nice if you could explain yours really because even though the dark night of the soul is very similar to everybody in the form of depression, loneliness, emotions, mental mind and suicidal thoughts, this is still the old programming. This is your language that we have been taught to understand. And so therefore, when the dark night of the soul awakens, you can only use that language, them words to explain or try to explain what is going on. What I discovered in my dark night of the soul was many visions. At first, it was very difficult to understand the visions because we're just taught that they are just dreams and they happen to everybody. But my visions had a theme, a certain energy, certain characters, a certain darkness to it all. Maybe yours is the same as mine. Maybe you have wanted to talk about your visions but have felt too scared to say anything to anyone because it may just make you seem even more mad than what you're feeling at this moment. So I'm going to share some of mine with you and basically all of mine were quite biblical. Prophets to be precise. This is the best way to be able to do it and to understand it. All of these visions that you've had that you've kind of put to one side let's say, I want you to find the time, find the place within yourself to go back over your journey and just sit and let the visions come up. Let the visions show themselves to you. Do you remember when you was younger and for Christmas you may have got one of them little projectors? I think there was a Walt Disney projector and you just put the slide film in or the negatives in and you used to project it onto the wall. My visions were like that. So what I want you to do to discover another part of your story, see you have your normal life but visions, thoughts and feelings and dreams, whatever you want to call them, have their own insight. And this is how I did it. I went into meditation and I went back to when I believed or felt when the visions started. Then I allowed the visions to happen one after the other. And it was almost like watching a movie, just like your projector. No sound, you just watched the images. What I discovered was this. All of the visions told a story. So I just watched the visions, turned off the sound, didn't think about how they made me feel. I just watched them happen and there was a story there. And when you step back and you look at that story, you get to a point where you think, oh my God, because these visions may only happen once in a while, you don't see the story. So try and piece it together. This is how filmmakers work, you know, every shot that they take is basically a camera still and then they stitch it all together and then they roll the film so therefore hence you get the film try it yourself so anyway this is what i did because in my visions i couldn't quite understand what was going on it didn't make sense and of course my logical mind was trying to bypass any thought or meaning behind it but I thought to myself, there must be meaning behind it, because why would I be having visions? Why would these dreams be coming to me? What was my soul wanting me to know? But as I started to piece together the visions, I saw the story. And when I looked at that story, my logical mind made up the reasons behind it. But then I changed my level of consciousness, because the more I was growing with my soul, in the dark night, I started to realize there was great messages. So this is why I say to you, it's very important to write down all of your visions, all of your dreams, all of your thoughts and feelings about what was happening in that place, because there is a book there. There was a great story there. And through this, I didn't know that as I was changing, as I was growing, 
as I was becoming something at that point I didn't know what but I was becoming somebody and my soul was telling me the story of really who I am where I've been why am I going through this and where is it going and through my visions of the prophets I noticed that each and every one of them they all carried a book and mine was very much biblical now I'm not religious I've never been into religion I was never into Jesus I didn't even know what the prophets were all about but when the dreams come see you have to start doing some research and once you start doing that research it's as if the soul triggers off a feeling a feeling that says you're on the right path and you get this feeling and it just lets you know and this is what I call the true feeling it kind of lets you know that what you've just discovered or what you've just read or what you've just understood is correct this is what they call the truth this is how your soul gets to you it comes in the feelings but you have to listen they're very subtle this is why it's important to be able to balance your mind and balance your emotions and take out the programming because once you do that you can allow the soul to arise into yourself to truly encompass who you are and what you are and give you a full detailed description of your visions so with the book of the prophets I didn't quite understand why they kept showing me this book or their books and then because the visions became too much I needed to find somebody myself that hopefully would have my answers of course I never found anybody but what I did is that I went to a hypnotherapist hoping that she would be able to guide me for me to find my own answer and interpret what was going on and that is when I discovered the bigger picture the whole story of all of my visions I think hypnotherapists give you the space they allow you to have that moment where you can shut out the world and truly go into yourself and allow the language or the vision to come to you so in the hypnotherapy I asked myself to be shown what is it all about and they took me to a place an amazing place it was a beautiful place and I met this guide and he handed me a book and he handed me a pen and I felt this amazing energy and excitement just like a child at Christmas I couldn't wait to open the book because I felt I'd been given this book of answers but when I opened up the book there was nothing written so I looked at the guide and said there's no words there's nothing in this book and this guide said to me it is yet to be written I didn't understand but as time went on and as I tell people you must write everything down within that time the book started to develop the ideas the questions and the answers started to flow and when they said to me the book is yet to be written which meant take this empty book start from here on in and work with me as I will work with you and we will start to fill the pages of this book and that's how I discovered a new meaning a new purpose and a new identity to who we are as beings and as I was writing in this book see I was growing because everything was being answered and so therefore each chapter of the book became poignant there was many messages in there that kind of made sense to me and so therefore as I was writing that stuff through I discovered the true meaning behind healing discovered a, a new language to what healing meant and I also discovered an intelligent communication with my body mind and emotions and this was the place where I started to heal my body heal my mind until my emotions so that for me in the dark night of the soul was the importance of the visions that didn't actually make sense but then I stitched them together 
to form a story that I could understand. And so therefore, when I became a teacher of the Dark Knight of the Soul, I could teach others to use what I had learned. Because when you're in that Dark Knight, you are being given lots of information, not only just for yourself, but to give to others. This is the most important thing. See, you're not sure why you're going through this, but I'm hoping you too will awaken and become a teacher. You will speak of your experiences. You will share what you have discovered as other people are going through their dark night of the soul. We pass the torch like a, a relay race. We pass it, we pass the baton, from the one runner to the second runner to the third runner to the fourth runner to the fifth runner to the sixth and so on and so on and this is how humanity is awakening it's just one light at a time you share your information sometimes it may not make sense but to other people they need that information okay in your dark night of the soul did you sense a lot of fear now fear is one of the biggest offenders of you feeling like you're dying or you want to leave the planet or you want to commit suicide fear is an amazing teacher because what the fear is teaching you is that you fear so much of the unknown within your visions within your dreams you know you call them nightmares you've probably woken up in a pool of sweat you feel very scared you're frightened you're you don't know where you're at so it teaches you a lot of fear because what it's teaching you is that once you've discovered this amount of fear, you will learn that there's nothing on the outside world that can make you fear anything more because your soul is already taking you through these incredible mounts of fear just within yourself. So you actually fear yourself and that's why you fear life because you're walking around with this energy of fear. So let me know what was the biggest fears in your dark night of the soul because as you write your fears down other people will also be able to relate to them fears and so therefore we'll be able to build a pattern to see if everyone's either going through the same or there is something different in each dark night of the soul another great question and this is the most important one that I feel that you probably couldn't tell the doctors or not even your family really because you couldn't quite understand it yourself because what happened to me was when this dark night of the soul was happening I felt like something had stepped into my body and was using my mind I felt like there was a completely different being in there and when I looked at myself in the mirror my immediate reaction was to turn around and say who the fuck are you? I, I didn't recognize myself nothing felt right at that time I was hairdressing and I couldn't even hold a pair of scissors. It was as if I'd never been a hairdresser before. It was the most weirdest, uncomfortable feeling I've ever felt in my life. That gave me a lot of fear because I felt like I was losing control of myself. And so therefore, call it depression, call it dark night of the soul, call it losing the plot. This is something that truly happens and so therefore, your body starts to ache. It starts to go through an incredible amount of pain. And you can go to the doctors to have some checkups, as I did, and you get told there is nothing wrong. So then you start to bypass that and sort of think, well, there is something wrong, but it's obviously not medical. And so therefore, because it's not medical, you then step into being or feeling that it's emotional and mental and so therefore you start to work on yourself mentally because that's healing then you start to work on yourself emotionally because that's what the soul wants you to do and once you discover that it's not that or it's some of that because that's your material life but once you get through that and you understand that you then start to understand this universal energy or a guide energy or you could call it a god energy has stepped into you and that's where that heaviness comes from that darkness that depression because the energy that has stepped into you brings so much information that your body your physical body just cannot cope i feel this is why a lot of people have that fibromyalgia 
There is no answer to that and it just seems like this is becoming a pandemic really because there's so many people struggling with it. It completely disabilitates them and of course the doctors have no answer to that. They'll just give you tablets and hopefully one day you'll get through it. It's almost like the bipolar effect. If you're going through bipolar, bipolar is in your material self, in your soulful self in the material self, in the soulful self. One minute you're in the pain of being a human being, and next minute you're kind of out of it, almost like feeling like you're in a different world, and you think that you're cured, and everything feels good, and it all feels right, and there's a certain amount of power there that feels right, but it doesn't last, as you know, and it may last a day, it may last two days, and then you find yourself back under the duvet covers. But again, that's still part of the transformation. And what your aim is to be is to have that bipolar effect, know that you're living in two worlds. It's either the material world or your soulful world or your spirit world or your enlightenment world, if you like. And then the idea is to keep moving between the two worlds until you get comfortable with which one is real because when this energy stepped into me i lost the plot of life i didn't know what was real anymore was this energy right was this energy teaching me right was my whole life completely wrong and so therefore there was the battle between these two identities that was inside of me that was having an argument and it seemed like that I was almost a third party to that. I was kind of watching this argument go on. I called it the holy war within. It was like the soul against the ego or the Christ self, if you like, against the devil. And I'm sure Jesus and Buddha and Krishna and all these amazing, fabulous spiritual teachers, they also went through the dark night of the soul. There's no escape in it if you are wanting to have something different, to be part of something, to find meaning and purpose to your life. This has to happen. So let me know how you felt about that. Did something step into your body and was used in your mind? Did you see many visions? I'd like to hear about them. And what sense of fear did you go through that stopped you from being with people going out and working what stopped you from being the light all very important questions i look forward to your feedback and maybe we can carry the youtubes onwards because i've already spoken about the dark night of the soul we know what it feels like I have so much more information to give you, but I, I want to kind of bring you through gradually rather than unleashing the new information like how it was done to me because once the universal energy unleashed all this download, if you like, onto me, I, I, couldn't, I really couldn't cope. So I don't want to do that to you. I want to bring you through gradually so that you get to understand that I'm on the same level as you, that I do understand you, and that you start to understand and trust what I'm telling you is coming from a level of truth, a level of love, and a level of my purpose to help people, guide people, to awaken people, to go through the door of depression or the dark night of the soul, to discover who you are, because most of us feel very lonely, very shut away from the world, because there's no one there we can talk to. So please feel free. You can YouTube me, Trevor Owsley, obviously, or you can go to Trevor Owsley Teaching Beamism uh, on Facebook, because Facebook is um, a page that I put together with the teachings. I didn't put the stuff on there from the Dark Knight of the Soul because I wanted to use that just for the YouTube, but lead people to the new information which I received that I felt that I was to give to beings that were going through the Dark Knight of the Soul. Because the reason behind this is I think the universe or the universal energy, call it God if you like, is awakening people around the world. And I believe that we are the new knights, and that's why it's called the dark knight of the soul. But I want to put a K in front of that knight, as in the Knights Templar, if you like, because the Knights Templar were about fighting the crusade and fighting to discover what they believed in. They was fighting for God. 
And I think we as beings are in that fight really, because the world is run by darkness, everything is destruction and war and destroying everything and so therefore they've put us into this place where now people if they're not destroying someone they're actually destroying themselves and I believe that's part of the plan as a part of the plan of the darkness for people to turn their energy against themselves to lose themselves to get themselves so confused that you'll actually commit suicide or find yourself in a mental home I think it is the plan so therefore I think this dark night of the soul is so special because you are a knight you are a warrior of light and this army is being built day by day on a daily basis and all the lights are awakening and we're helping people as much as we can even though people think we're mad for doing that but it doesn't matter it's our mission and its purpose to awaken as many people as we possibly can to take the balance over in towards the light because if we don't do this then there is no evolution there is no soul, there is no revelation in humanity ever changing. And if we are not the people on the planet to make that change now, then your children's children and children's children will be forevermore stuck in the darkness. We are the push now. We are the beings that are here, awakened to be able to spread this new language, this new love, this new understanding to create a better future. So we're just in the beginning of the bigger picture and be proud that you will get through and you will be part of this journey because once that God energy or universal energy knows that you're getting it, it becomes easier and it's almost like the god energy can step away from you as if to say have you got it now do you know your mission now do you know why you're here now do you know what you've got to do now i just wanted to wake you up because you are needed so please let me know what you want to share with me i find it very interesting i'd love to help you in whatever way i can and let's see if we can build a better being within you as beamism mine is called beamism that's what the prophets gave to me that's what my dark night was all about it delivered me a new religion if you like and it's called beamism and it's about being me as it is about being you so i want to teach you to be you i call it the beamy baby and there's a true saying isn't there jesus turned around and said to enter the kingdom of heaven you must become like a child my version from what i got delivered was it was called the beamy baby which means body mind energy being a better you so it's beamy baby so healing is about going back to being a baby that's why you have to undo all of the wounds that have happened to you since you was a child and it takes you back to the blueprint of who you are before all of the programming from your parents and the teachers and the people that you met in life that were totally unconscious that filled you up with all this crap and now your dark soul was saying we need to clear this shit out because you are very much needed i hope you've enjoyed this talk i look forward to your response and i look forward to doing the next youtube speak to you soon